Hello. Sorry this is a little bit late, but I've not had the chance to record until now, and I've been really busy. So, yeah, I'm 10 months on tea. I've not really noticed any changes. I am losing weight, so that's good, and I think um, as a result my figure is slightly less feminine than it was. It's still very feminine, but less so. Facial hair is pretty much the same. Still no tash. R.I.P. <laughs> My voice, again, hasn't got any deeper. I don't think it has since I was uh, six months on tea. Which sucks, but, you know, I'm hoping it still gets a little bit deeper at some point. So... Levels wise, my levels were obviously my testosterone levels were obviously low. I wasn't able to get my blocker in time until last week, so I had a month, or well, four weeks of of testosterone without the blocker at only you know a lower dose. So I was perpetually exhausted and fell asleep a lot during the day. It sucked, and then I was able to get my blocker. I don't know if it's had any impact at all. It's not been long enough. My T levels seem to be around six, I think, which is better than I thought they'd be. That was a much rough before my most recent testosterone um, injection, when I also had my blockers. My blood was still thick, so I'm hoping the blockers would do something. I'm not sure that they will though, unfortunately, um, because it with my just low T, it still, yeah, it just didn't change them. I mean, they're not that far out of the the range, so maybe it's better. I don't know. I've lost about two stone since January, apparently, so that's really good. It means. I feel like top surgery is a lot less impossible now that I can do it. Uh, hopefully I can keep losing weight. The the blocker injection, it's subcutaneous and it's like an implant injected into you that lasts for weeks. My god did it hurt. It was absolute agony. It makes the testosterone jab look like nothing. <laughs> And usually that doesn't really hurt at all, apart from when it goes in for a second, so... But, but, the blocker really hurts. I seem to have a nurse doing blood tests that's, uh, not so great at them. I've had the same one the last two times, and she was very nosy about, like, my transition and stuff. And asked virtually the same questions the second time, obviously not recognising me. And this time the blood test really hurt. And again, like, like I've never like bruised or anything before from a blood test, but the two times that she's done it, it's been really bad. And if I don't know if that's from a blood test that was a week and a half ago, so that's fun. <laughs> There's not really much to update on changes-wise because it's obviously slowing down, and I didn't really notice things. Yeah, I mean, it's probably it, really. Septum's healing well. And my next gender clinic appointment is on the 21st of June. So yeah, I've got that. And I just realized it also means I didn't have to have a blood test last week. I could have had it next shot. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, oh well, it's fine. I'll get another one, but yeah, it's cool. Um, yeah, I've pretty much finished uni at this point. I just got some assessments to do from when I wasn't going in. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I put up a trans flag. Woo! Yeah, it's good, yeah. <sighs> I feel like I should have more to say, but I can't really think of anything. It's been so long since I've recorded a video, and that sucks, and I would, like, I wanted to, I've just not been able to. 
I don't know when this will be up, probably in the next few days, hopefully. Uh, today is the 31st of May, and my 10 month on T-Day was the 22nd of May. It's crazy how quick it has gone, really, to think about, like, how I'm 10 months on T. I feel like, I don't know, it's just insane that it's been that long, and, you know, not too far in the future will be my year on T, and that's crazy. Because it's hard to think you ever reach this point. And I've obviously got so far left to go, but getting here was an achievement, and I'm really happy about that. Even if my mental health isn't so great at the moment, I'm feeling good about transition stuff, apart from my blood thickness, but that's not for here. <laughs> so, in short, 10 months on tea. I'm on blockers now. Lost weight, so top surgery feels more like a thing that could actually happen in the future. Not soon, but you know, at some point. So that's good. Uh, thanks for keeping up with my transition. Thanks for watching my videos. I will see you next time. Bye.